killer skill for money, for revenge or to protect something or out of an obsession or passion. And if you take these reasons out of the equation, then come the serial killers. People who kill due to their psychological needs. The victims here might not be connected with each other or are connected by the most bizarre reasons. Like they all sleep on the pavement. Today at Simply Curious, we are going to talk about five of the most notorious serial killers in India. Part 1 <laughs> Number 5. Charles Shobraj Despite the infamy, Charles Shobraj is one of the most famous murderers around. From 1975 to 1976, he murdered around 12 people in various places in Southeast Asia. Unlike most other serial killers, Shobraj had a motive. Rob his victims to fund his flamboyant lifestyle. His usual method was to first gain the trust of tourists and potential victims by rescuing them from problems that he had created in the first place and then defrauding them. The bodies of two of the women he had killed were found in floral bikinis, earning Shobraj the nickname Bikini Killer. He was arrested in India, where he served a sentence from 1976 to 1977, after which he retired to Paris. He was even approached for book and movie rights, to which he quoted exceptionally high amounts. He returned to Nepal in 2004, where he was arrested again. He is now serving a second life sentence. Actor Randeep Huda portrayed Shobraj in the film May or Charles. Number 4. Otto Shankar Born Gauri Shankar, he quickly established a name for himself as a transporter of illegal arak or coconut liquor, who was also involved in the local flesh trade. But what gets him on this list as one of India's most notorious serial killers is his killing spree in the 80s. During a period of six months in 1988, Otto Shankar abducted and murdered nine teenage girls from Tirvanmur, Chennai. Though initially he blamed all of it on the influence of cinema, a month before his execution, he confessed to committing the murders for some politicians who had raped the abducted teenage girls. After his arrest, he managed to escape from Chennai Central Prison but was then later apprehended in Raurkela, Odisha. Shankar was hanged to death in the Salem prison in 1995. Number 3. Stone Man Murders This one's very intriguing because it took place in two different cities. Starting in Mumbai in 1985 and lasting well over two years, a series of 12 murders were committed in the Sion and King's Circle locality of the city. The modus operandi was simple. He or she would find an unsuspecting victim sleeping alone in a desolate area. The victim's head was crushed with a single stone, weighing as much as 30 kg. In most cases, the victim's identities could not be ascertained since they slept alone and did not have relatives or associates who could identify them. By the middle of 1988, the killings stopped as mysteriously as they had started. To this date, the case is unsolved. Fast forward to the summer of 1989 in Kolkata. There was an uncanny similarity in the instrument, choice of victims, execution and the time of attacks, suggesting the killer was someone familiar with the Mumbai episodes, if not the same person. The first victim in Kolkata died from injuries to the head in June 1989. Twelve more died in the next six months as panic gripped the city. A film was made on the happenings in Mumbai called Stone Man Murders, starring K.K. Menon and Arbaz Khan. Till date, the mystery is still unsolved. Number 2. Cyanide Malika Cyanide Malika, also known as K.D. Kempama, is considered to be India's first female serial killer. She would choose her victims from among female devotees near temples. Posing as a deeply pious woman, well-versed with all the religious rituals, she would befriend well-to-do women. Once she gained the confidence of a woman, she would call her to a temple that was far away from the would-be victim's house. 
she would advise the woman to be dressed in all her finery including jewelry to appease the gods at the temple malika would pretend to perform a prayer before telling the woman to drink holy water or eat prasad that would be laced with cyanide known to have killed six women like this she was given a death penalty in 2010 which was later reduced to life imprisonment in 2012 number 1 thug behram this man is probably one of the most deadly in the history of serial killers thug behram also known as behram jamedar and the king of the thugs had been involved in up to 931 murders that's not a number we're cooking up recognized as the leader of the thuggy cult active in aud in northern central india during the late 18th and early 19th century his modus operandi used to be strangulation with a kamarband the kamarband had a large medallion sewn into it and with practice skill he could cast the kamarband so as to cause the medallion to land on the adam's apple of his victims adding pressure to the throat and making it easier to kill scary behram was hanged to death in 1840 what do you think of this list if you want to see the second part of the series do write to us in the comment section below press the like button share and subscribe to simply curious for more such interesting desi countdown videos